Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Before we actually start with the video, guys, make sure if you want to see me live streaming, tune in today. I'm always streaming every single Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. CEG, which means as soon as this video is uploaded, you guys should go over to my Twitch channel and follow there already because I will start my stream pretty soon. And at the same time, I have to say sorry because I completely messed up the recording for this video. What I wanted to do is... I wanted to last second attacks on this war, which I actually did. Like if we watch the war events, you guys can see me one minute left in the war, one minute left in the war. We did the attacks, but yeah, I, I failed to record the attacks. So what we're doing, we rewatched the attacks. I will try to explain a little more in depth why I did what I did and uh, well, I'm Super sorry, I wanted to do the live attacks because I know that you guys enjoy those more. But I messed up. I'm super sorry. If you guys want to see more live attacks, make sure to tune in today in the live stream. But either way, the attacks are pretty good. So nonetheless, let's take a look at the first base, which is going to be this one. What was the goal on this base and why did I attack with the mass hawk riders? Well, the reason behind that was that there were so many um, heroes around the town hall. Like you can see... There's the king, there's the queen, and there's the royal champ, which means the three important defensive heroes are all on one spot. In addition to that, well, there's the scatter shot as well, which means like four defenses, which are one of the most important things on defense, are super grouped up together next to the town hall, which is another really important defense. So out of this combined, I thought like, okay, let's go into this compartment over here, like with a ram or something like that. We use a couple of ice golems as well to tank. Funnel over here, funnel over here, and let the party start. So let's see what I did exactly and how it turned out. Because I used a couple of minions for the funnel, I used the baby dragon over here. We are using an ice golem for tanking. The ice golem did work to the side, sadly. I thought it should go to the wall, but I knew that there were Tesla over here, which are super annoying for the final because you can't really get rid of those. The next thing what I was doing is sending my king, but because the ice golem went onto the outside, my ram opened up one hit too early. I had boulders in the CC, which I raged up, used the warden ability, so this means all of the stuff is going inside. The boulders are helping really nicely to get rid of the enemy town hall, and this means my heroes are still alive, can still go strong, and will keep going and keep pushing into the uh, into the eagle compartment. The next thing what I, what I was going to do is I'm still waiting for my CC, or like for the enemy CC to come out because I wanted to get rid of the enemy CC. Now the CC is coming out, I can use the poison and the next thing what I'm going to do is obviously start with the Hawk Riders, which means I needed a really widespread, like a widespread in the beginning, get all of the Hawk Riders in and what I did next, I used the Royal Champion ability to not only get away of the bomb tower, but as well I'm tanking the scatter shot. This means I'm like in the beginning, I need no heal spells. Now the first heal spell is needed just to make sure because there are a lot of giant bombs, uh, like double giant bombs, etc. And because of the warden is still being in behind, like still chilling in behind the hawk riders, not following the hawks, this means that my hawk riders are actually kind of squishy. So what I'm doing next is like just pushing the heal spells everywhere, like placing them, spreading them out, and try and hope for the best. Um, what in the end? worked because you guys saw already the result but either way there are so many spring traps in the back end which makes sure that if you're doing a queen charge hawk riders which was like the other option to do queen charge hawk riders into this but this means you do not have as many hawk riders left with so many spring traps on the back end you will never ever make it through that with your hawks so this is why the mass hawk rider worked better um, on this base there were so many giant bombs on this base as well in the core but we made it we made it through and this was the first triple we did. Super hyped. I think Mass Hawk Riders can sometimes work, especially when the base builder is putting so many um, heroes on the same spot. Then it's super, super powerful. And especially if you're getting gifted another scatter shot and obviously the town hall. Like those defenses together, that's crazy, crazy value. So the next attack we did was actually a Queen Charge Minor attack. And this one was decided by seconds. So let's take a look at that one. And what we did over there, like a queen charge minor attack. And that was actually a cleanup of another guy doing a queen charge and minor as well. What he did, he did a queen walk, starting over here, breaking into the eagle compartment and then pushing in here. The issue which he faced was that this scatter shot staying alive 
attacking his healers on the back end and then the CC came out and this queen was basically stuck with too much damage on her, like too many things were shooting at her and this caused her to die. The miners were not able to push through and this caused the attack to fail. So what I did, I tried to think about, I like this queen start because the queen start at the bottom is, is like brilliant. Like this gap in between here is perfect for the queen start because you need no funnel at all. What I did is, first off, I lured the CC out because it was lurable, uh, which means like a witch and a couple of ice golems came out. Then I started with my queen, the exact same entry, but what I did different, I did not war break into this compartment because there was no need for that. Like I can reach the eagle from the outside. Like when I'm walking into this alley, I can reach the eagle from the outside, which means there was no reason for, my, for me to push into that compartment. So what I did next was to use a ram or I was thinking about, should I use war breakers? Should I use a ram? What should I do for this wall? Because I wanted to get into this, into this compartment. But if I would have decided to go with war breakers, the war breakers would have walked pretty strange and I didn't want to open so like so far in the north of the compartment I wanted to open over here and this was basically only possible with a ram so I decided okay let's do not use the siege machine like the um, the siege barracks which you normally use with the miners let's use the ram and what we did with that we filled it up with three ice golems just to make sure that our tanking in front of the queen is as beefy as possible and then my king found the tesla farm funneling over here and then the next stage of my attack was basically to funnel for the miners but i had no king i had no uh, siege barracks i had no anything for funneling my my miners so i had to bring a pekka on my own place this on the outside and as soon as it's tanking the Arter tower i'm helping the pekka basically with a baby dragon on the outside then we can as soon as we got rid of all of this then we can use the miners to get in here and use the royal champion to get all of those outside building, buildings to make sure that the mines are actually staying inside. So mines are started at the same time Queen is pushing into the base, hitting her ability last second and then obviously the mines are coming through. Queen is still alive, doing her thing, a freeze. I'm not sure whether I should have used that freeze. I feel like it was a little bit swag because I used the, uh, the warden ability at the same time. But either way, it worked at that point, um, which means the next thing was that my Royal Champion was catching up to my miners, a ground skeleton, which was a little bit annoying. My queen was banging through the wall, which means she isn't really doing anything at that moment. And now, obviously, freezing the town hall because that's super annoying for my miners, for everything, Royal Champion ability. And the, the important thing is she's staying alive after the... Well... I didn't say anything because I thought she was staying alive, but I already forgot about what was happening because this attack was so damn close. I will check it out. I will show you guys in the end again the timing. The timing was so clutch because my king did not take out this archer tower. I was supposed to drop wizards on here because I thought, okay, like my king will take out the Tesla farm and the archer tower with ease. But then in the end, lucky, lucky split for me. Like the troops are splitting. The miners are splitting, a couple of them on the arch tower, a couple of them are on the builder hut, Lixus um, collector, and this means this is going to be a triple. Now guys, once again, check out the timing on this one. So, 3 minutes, 8 seconds, let's see when I place the first thing, which is going to be the giant. 3 minutes, 4, 3, 2, 1, giant, which means 1 second maybe left in the attack, so it was super super close. Uh, we a little bit messed up a couple of things over there, but still, either way, we managed to get the triples in the end. Um, if you guys would like to see my other two attacks, like uh, the one triple and the other attack, which I failed sadly on the 10, so I cleaned, me, uh, cleaned myself up after that. If you guys want to see those attacks, um, check out my German channel, even though you might not understand what I'm saying, but still you can... Uh, watch the attacks nonetheless and otherwise guys if you like uh, my channel and would like to support me go in your settings go in more settings and then scroll to the bottom you can find the creator boost code which you can use it's just it's it doesn't really matter whether it's small or big letters it's all about that just naming the right uh, word which is it's if you want to support me remember you have to always to like retype it in after um, seven days because then it's like getting deleted again and, well, if you guys would like to see more live attacks of me, because, like I said, I I was so disappointed after that. After Like, I was, like, recording and speaking over it and everything. And then I looked to the left and saw you, you didn't do, like, you did actually not press on the recording button. How stupid can, I don't know. But either way, if you like 
uh, if you would like to see a couple of more live attacks of me, check out today the live stream from 6 to 8 p.m. CET. Make sure to get the time zone right because otherwise the stream might be already over. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, see you guys and bye-bye.